Hello. In this activity, we'll be exploring the 5-Y method. What's the 5-Y method, you ask? Good question. The 5-Y method is the intentional act of digging deeper during a conversation, discussion, or interview in an effort to learn more about the person you're conversing with or the topic you're discussing. The 5-Y premise is based on the idea that a person's first response to a question or their initial comments during a conversation are usually about an inch deep, that is, somewhat superficial or lacking in depth or detail. But by using the 5-Y method, that is, by asking why or a why-type question five times, we have the ability to go a mile deep into a conversation with the possibility of revealing important insights about a person or topic. The 5-Y method is particularly useful when conducting empathy interviews for a design thinking project, or when helping a friend, or even yourself, learn a little bit more about themselves. Let's take a look at a conversation and see what happens when no one asks why. Hey! Hey! Monday again. Yeah. What'd you do this weekend? It was so nice outside. I actually didn't spend any time outside at all. I mostly just watched movies and messed around in my garage. Oh, I went on a bike ride. Nice! Have a great Monday. Okay, that's called small talk. And let's be honest, it is soul-crushingly superficial. If we want to gain some insight into the people we talk to, to move beyond placeholder conversations, we need to build our skill at noticing and responding to opportunities that are presented for diving beneath the surface. Let's try that again. Hey. Hey. It's Monday. Yeah. What'd you do outside? It was so nice this weekend. I actually didn't spend any time outside at all. I mostly just spent my time watching movies and messing around in my garage. What? Why did you do that? It was the first nice sunny weekend in months. There you go. Notice the opportunity that was created to learn a little bit more about the other person? My dad and I wanted to watch this movie, October Sky. Have you seen it? No. Oh, it's pretty great. Cool. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, you should. Well, enjoy your Monday. So close, yet so far. There are several missed opportunities here. First off, what makes October Sky such a great movie? Second, what were they doing messing around in the garage? Asking why once opens the door for more engagement and understanding. But to go through that door, we need to keep paying attention and asking for more information. This is a hallmark of active listening, and it's what leads people to feel heard and want to share their stories. Let's see what happens when we really dig deep. Hey. Hey. It's Monday. Yeah. What did you do outside? It was so nice this weekend. I actually didn't spend any time outside at all. I mostly just messed around in my garage and watched movies. Watched movies and messed around in your garage? Why would you do that? My dad and I wanted to watch this movie, October Sky. Have you seen it? No. Oh, it's pretty great. Yeah, sounds like you've seen it before. How many times have you seen it? 16, but who's counting? 16 times? That's it. Telling somebody you've watched a movie 16 times is an invitation for a follow-up question. Accept that invitation by asking why and see where it takes you. Well, I almost always watch it with my dad, and we mainly watch it for ideas. It's about this kid growing up in a small town, when he and his friends get really interested in rockets, so they start finding stuff and blowing it up. Eventually, they get really good and start blowing stuff up thousands of feet in the air. That sounds cool. What kind of ideas are you looking for? Well, my dad and I like to build rockets, so we bought this kit a couple years ago after watching the movie, and ever since then have been making sort of our own modifications towards it. It's really fun, but sometimes it can get really frustrating. If it's so frustrating, why do you keep doing it? I think that's kind of the point. My dad and I like to take on hard projects that we're not even sure we'll be able to do, and then just learn and try and figure it out as we go. Seriously? What's that all about? Yeah, seriously. I guess the thought of doing something challenging is more interesting than, than knowing how to do something easy. It's like a challenge or dare to see if I can figure it out. A lot of times I don't even stay interested in it after I figure it out, but I love to feel like I'm really engaging with what's around me, rather than just watching it go by. Does that make any sense? Yeah, that actually does. What do you think? Ready to give it a try? Your challenge is to engage in a conversation with anyone you know. You can start easy by doing this with a family member or a good friend. No matter who you speak with, try using the 5 why method and see where the conversation goes. What can you learn about someone you already know by adopting a curious, engaged mindset? Good luck. And remember, rather than being a formula you can use to force depth into a conversation, this is a skill you can build by listening and finding subtle, natural, and appropriate ways to encourage others to share more about themselves. Once you've tried this a few times, take a minute to reflect by answering the questions below.